Hello and welcome to another Tuesday Telecast, Des Moines Gaming Club's weekly update. As you can see, we are filming from a new location today. This is my wife and I's new house here in Des Moines. It is our first house and we are very excited. Um, we've got the internet scheduled to be installed today, which I'm very happy about. Currently using a hotspot, so hopefully it holds up here a little while longer. Uh, this week we go back to our regular full schedule of online locals with Smash Ultimate at 7 p.m. on Thursday, Rocket League at 7 on Friday, and Warzone at 1 p.m. on Saturday. So a uh, quick recap of our two events last week. Uh, Meaty won another Smash Bros. local on Thursday. This time he used the new characters Pyra and Mithra to great effect. Uh, they may or may not be OP, but we'll see what the community lands on. Friday, we had another Rockin' Rocket League event. We had eight people, so we did a duos tournament, and let me tell you, the game plan in our Rocket League continues to go up. We were joined by Complex, who plays in qualifiers for the RLCS, or Rocket League Championship Series. While that was pretty awesome, we also had a player join us from Sweden. Uh, Don Capio from Sweden teamed up with Big Pencil, who's played uh, with us before here in Des Moines, uh, to take the whole event without dropping a series. It was a crazy night, and we had a lot of fun. Remember, we usually live stream these events on our YouTube channel, and then after, uh, we post the stream uh, on there as well. So be sure to check that out if you want to watch. We really appreciate everyone who has played in these events, uh, and people who spread the word about what we are doing, and especially to our founding members. Uh, we can't thank you all enough. We are still planning the Call of Duty Black Ops tournament, that we hope to host on Sunday, March 28th. Um, we should have the details very soon, hopefully uh, in the next couple of days. In some video game and esports news, Fortnite has recently launched Season 6 Chapter 2, which comes with a whole lot of changes. New weapons, new skins, changes to the maps, and uh, animals roaming around now. Fortnite continues to pave the way for regular updating and changing games. It seems like every day now, investors are coming into e the esports scene, and for good reason. Just yesterday, it was announced that NBA superstar Kevin Durant has invested through his company, 35 Ventures, into Andbox, which is the parent company of the New York Subliners in the Call of Duty League and the New York Excelsior in the Overwatch League. One last gaming industry tidbit I wanted to touch on is the rise of mobile gaming. When people think of gaming, or video games in general, People think of PCs or consoles. However, that probably needs to start changing as mobile gaming has started to take over. Mobile gaming refers to playing games on mobile devices like phones or tablets. With most people having smartphones these days, mobile gaming is of course ridiculously accessible, and there are new technologies coming out making mobile gaming even better, such as the Backbone mobile controller. In 2020, PC games accounted for 24% of global gaming revenue. Consoles accounted for 25%. Mobile games accounted for 51% of global gaming revenue, which is absolutely nuts. They're even making esports out of mobile games now. Anyways, thanks for tuning in and watching our weekly update. If you or anyone you know has questions about anything we do, please reach out. We'd love to hear from you. Till next time, happy gaming.